Hello, and thank you for joining us on the TSDBT YouTube channel. This is the summer service for July 11th, 2021. Service order today will be Juice Gay. You can find Juice Gay on page 57 in the Blue Denver Service Book. We'll then have a reading of the Rogamon. If you look in the description below, you'll find the Rogamon in both Japanese and a translation in English. And then we're going to have a Dharma talk in English, followed by the Gobon Show. Thank you very much for joining us here once again on Tri-State Denver Buddhist Temple's YouTube channel. And if you don't have a copy of the Blue Denver Service Book, please look in the description below. And if you like this service and want to continue to see other ones like it, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when every service comes out every Sunday. Please have a wonderful and safe summer. See you again next time.
両家出言もろもろの造業雑種自力の心を振り捨てて一心に阿弥陀如来我らが今度の一大事の御所を、御助け、そうらへと頼み申して候。頼む一年の時、王女一条、御助け、事情と存じ、この上の照明は、御恩、放射と存じ、喜び申し候。この恩断り、長文申し訳候こと、ご解散承認、ご出世の御恩、次第僧侶の全知識の朝からざるご関係のご恩とありがたく存じ候。この上は定め犯せられる恩をきて、一合限り守り申すべく候。ろ。Welcome and please join me in Gusho as I read from the Govun s h o the third fascicle, thirteenth letter. The ultimate and relative truth. Follower, followers of our tradition, both those who have already attained peaceful awareness and those who have yet to do so, should bear in mind the following points. First and foremost, as concerns with the outside world, look upon the laws of the state as fundamental, 
Never belittle any gods, buddhas, or bodhisattvas, and never slander other schools or other teachings. Regardless of your relationship with, to local authorities, such as provincial military governors and local landowners, do not treat them disrespectful, and be sure to meet in full, in full all fixed years tributes and payments to officials. In addition, respect an absolute, as absolutely fundamental the principles of human love and justice. In your inner world, in order to attain rebirth, entrust yourself single-heartedly and steadfastly to Amida Tathagata without attachment to any of miscellaneous practices and miscellaneous good acts. When you entrust yourself uh, without single doubting of thought, you'll be born without fail in the true and real pure land of utmost bliss. Once you have realized this, you are called the Nembutsu follower who has attained Amida Tathagata's other power faith. When you attain the faith in the Nembutsu in this way, you should also realize that, although we are wretched beings deeply burdened with bad karma and committing wrongdoings throughout our lives, once we awaken to the faith of the one-thought moment of taking refuge, we are readily saved by the workings of the Buddha's vow power. Thusly, with deep appreciation of Amida Tathagata's inconceivable original vow, Entire, the entirely surpasses this world. The, uh, as beings the strongest condition for our awakening of faith, we should simply recite Nembutsu, sleeping or waking, responding in gratitude to Amida Tathagata's for all he has done for us. Whatever else you may do beyond this truth, it will be of no use for the rebirth in the Pure Land. Nevertheless, there are many people nowadays who speak incorrectly. I wonder what impels them to do so about strange, distorted teachings that have been transmitted improperly, thereby not only confusing others, but polluting the unsurpassed flow of the Dharma water. What a deplorable situation this is. We must think about this very carefully. Most humbly and respectfully, on the 18th of July, 19, er, 1476, by Renyo Shonen. Namo Amidabits. Namo Amidabits. Namo Mirabits, Namandabits, 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 Namandabits. Hello, everybody. So this is um, a letter that came from Renyo Shonen. It's one of the Gobunsho. And this particular one is when he, um, about a year after he left the temple at Yoshizaki. And this is a response to things that were happening in Japan at that exact moment in time. So... There's always been a little bit of concern with us Nembutsu followers, with us Jodo Shinchu Buddhists, about if we're going to be born in the Pure Land, why does anything else matter? And so Shinran Shonen dealt with this, the concept of license evil, and Renyo Shonen is dealing with it in that, yes, you, you do still have to pay taxes. No, it doesn't really pay to go off and be mean to other people. And yes, you should live in a manner which allows other people to live the way that they need to as well. And the reason I write this is I, I had a conversation with another Jodo Shinshu minister, and they were telling me that members of their sangha were concerned because a lot of them are converts, and they sometimes feel lost because there's not rules laid out for them. There's not do this and don't do that, do this and don't do that. So coming from a Christian tradition, the concept of something like the Ten Commandments or the Beatitudes or uh, uh, the Acts, the laws laid down in Exodus or any of those types of Judeo-Christian um, Abrahamic tradition of law. And one of the things Jodo Shinshu Buddhism is not is Abrahamic, obviously, but to another extent, we don't necessarily tell you within Jodo Shinshu Buddhism every aspect that you should live and how you should live your life. That does exist in Buddhism. And if that's something that you need, I really suggest you go check it out. There's things called the Vinyana, Vinya. Uh, I always pronounce the word wrong. Um, and these are the rules for monks and nuns. And this is where monks and nuns are told, you can eat this, but not this. You must eat before this time. You must go to the restroom this specific way. You must dress this way every day, and this is how you're trying to build merit. And for those people who can do those insanely hard practices, I hope it works for them. But I am a greedy, foolish, ignorant being. And so I need a system that works around me, but I also need to live in that system. But 
and that's my outside world. In my inside world, I know for a fact I will be born in the pure land of Amida Buddha. And this is what Renyo is saying. When you're in your inner world, the world that we close our eyes and we see ourselves in, we hear and repeat, Namo Amida Butsu. And I know me, everything inside this body, will be born in the pure land of Amida Buddha. And I will become a Bodhisattva and eventually a Buddha on my own so I can help liberate all beings. That is the unbelievably compassionate gift of Amida Buddha. But Jodo Shinshu is not going to tell me, hey, you can't eat pork on Thursdays. That's not our game. And that's okay. But what Renyo does say in here, in addition, respect the absolute fundamental principles of human love and justice. Everyone wants to be loved. So we have to exist within a system in order to wake up every morning, basically. We have decided as a human race to build a societal norm around ourselves, which allows us to leave our homes and not get robbed. It allows us to drive a car down a road, which if you think about it is absolute and utter chaos. I'm driving a very heavy machine at very high speeds, and I'm really happy that everyone else follows the rules. Otherwise, I would make it about 500 feet before I crashed into someone else. So it's these systems, and this is what Renyo was saying in his time, don't belittle or slander other schools, and don't make the people who help everything work continue to work. And so I got a cute story to share with you guys. Because, um, and this ties in here really well, but also because this story makes me feel good. For those of you who don't know, Karen, my wife, and I are parrot people. We love parrots. I think they're the best pets ever. It's like parrots and dogs. But I love parrots. And for a long time, we cohabitated with a Red Lord Amazon named Charlie. And I love Charlie, and we were Charlie's third family, so she was already very old when she came to live with us. But she liked to say all kinds of fun things. We tried to teach her to say the Nembutsu, but she was already pretty old. But she would say, I love you. You'd walk by, and we're like, hi, Charlie. And Charlie would say, hi, Charlie. So she knew who she was. <laughs> and um, so we have fallen in love with parrots. So the other day, I saw in the city of Brighton, that someone who had a beautiful, large macaw, I had the macaw, uh, was walking with her macaw, and their macaw got scared. And a lot of people with really big macaws, they take their parrots out for walks. Their parrots know who their people are, and they want to spend time with their people. But this parrot got spooked by something, and it flew up in a tree. And the parrot was scared and kept making its call like, I, I'm scared, I want to come back down, but I'm really high up in this tree and I don't know what to do. And so the fire department came out. Uh, Brighton Fires, big tower, I think it's Tower 58 or something, came out and the firefighter got up in the bucket and he went all the way up on the ladder and put his hand out and the parrot stepped down and came all the way down and the parrot went back to its person. And I think that's amazing. And the reason I think that's amazing is because we have built a system that not only can we cohabitate with a parrot from Central America here in Colorado, but that also we were able to, they were able to call someone on the phone, three digits, 911, and a fire truck came out to rescue their parrot feathered friend. That's why the system is important. That's why we live within a society. And that's why sometimes we have to look around and say, this is the thing that we have to do. So it's not Jodo Shinshu that's going to sit and guide you and say, you have to behave this a certain way, and you have to make sure you pay taxes, and you have to do all those other things. That is us realizing that we have to live in this world. And you being responsible for you. What Jodo Shinshu does say is that we should make it comfortable for everyone else living in this world. And we should allow the light of the Nembutsu to shine out through us. And so Renier here is saying, why do we make it harder for other people when we don't have to? Why do we live in a manner that prevents other people from being happy? 
One of the other things in here that I think is very important that he says, first and foremost, is concerns of the outward lo world. Look upon the laws of the state as fundamental. Never belittle any of the gods, buddhas, or bodhisattvas, and never slander other schools or other teachings. As Jodo Shinshu Buddhists, we know the Nambutsu is a path for us. We know we will be born in the pure land of Amida Buddha, and we know we are embraced never to be forgotten, never to be abandoned. But I am not here to tell other people they are wrong. I am not here to make other people lose their faith, and I am not here to belittle their traditions. They are not my traditions, even if they're a tradition I might have grown up in and left. I can show them respect and love. And maybe they come and experience the love and compassion that is the Nembutsu because I allow the light to shine out through me, but not because we belittle or demean them. It is important that we show respect for all those who are around us. And it's important that we give each other a warm embrace and a big smile. Thank you very much for joining us here today. And please join me in Gasho as I read Gobunsho Shonen Ichiru. Shonen Ichiru no gon kanke no mu mu ki wa Shinjin no motte honto serare Soro Sono yue wa Moro moro no zogyo wo nage su tete Ishin ni mira ni kimyo Sure ba Fukashigi no ganiki to shite Putin no kata yori ojo wa jijo sashime tamo Sono kurai o ichinen poki nu shoujo shiju tamo shaku shi Sono weno shomyo nen buta nyorai wa ga ojo wo sarame tamai shi Goon hojin no nen buto kokoro bekinari Ana kashi ko, ana kashi ko. Namo mi dabuts, namo mi dabuts, namo mi dabuts, namanda dabuts, namanda dabuts, namanda dabuts, namanda dabuts.